Okay, so we're gonna do um, a very minimalist pickoff. So as a professional rescuer, um, if you don't have much at all, um, we're gonna try to make this work without, uh, without any kind of set of fours, without like an Aztec or a Jag or a wingman. We're doing it without counterbalancing. We're gonna do it without uh, any of the other fancy stuff. We don't have uh, rigs, clutches, IDs, uh, no like auto locking devices or high efficiency pulleys. Um, no ASAPs, no handle ascenders, no adjustable cast cells, just carabiners and prussics is all we're gonna use here. Uh, with the exception of one pulley. So um, I wanna make it sort of like less difficult for me. So this is the only thing I'm really gonna cheat with is one pulley. I need a bunch of carabiners, uh, probably like around nine or so and maybe six or so prussics to make it work. So even though Gabe is, is suspended like on lines, maybe he's just coiled up around wire. Um, so every like everything he has going on here is out of play. I'm not allowed to use it. Um, and I'm not allowed to use any of his lines. So everything's gonna be based off of my lines. Okay, so rescuer based pickoff. Uh, I, I know that I need to establish like a connection between him and I, um, and really two. So I'm just gonna get that out of the way right now. So, so we have our primary connection. So I'm gonna go to the spine of my, this is a cannon, cannoneering repel device. So it's just like a, a brake rack or like a, a rescue aid. So it just has a lot of friction horns and I can adjust and lock off, but it's not auto locking. Um, so that's a consideration. So I need to clip this on the spine of the descender that I'm on. And I'm gonna go to his sternal. I can go ventral or sternal, it doesn't matter. Sternal is a better access point for me. So I'm gonna hook in right there. So that's one connection. That's the primary. And I'm basically gonna duplicate that for the secondary. So the secondary is gonna go um, on my backup prussic right there. And here, let's see if I can pull them in without having to adjust this. So I'm gonna grab them, get them up. That's a little bit short. I'm gonna hold off on this for just a second. I'll reconnect that in after I kind of raise them up a bit. I can extend this, but I don't want it to be too long. I need to establish a mechanical advantage system. So uh, being suspended, the first thing I do is set an anchor point. I'm gonna set the anchor point on my primary line because it's under tension and the stretch is taken out of it. If I set it on my backup line, it's gonna be less efficient when I start hauling because. I'm gonna lose that height as the rope stretches. I'm gonna lose that height. Okay. So step one, set an anchor point on your main working line here. And I'm gonna to try to get this prussic as small as possible. So I'm gonna go beyond three wraps and maybe try to do five or six. So really I just wanna get this thing as short as possible because uh, real estate is a precious commodity when you're doing this. So this is the brake strand of my descender coming out. I need to pull up all the slack to the very end and I'm gonna tie in to my uh, subject. So I pull this up and I'm gonna tie this into them. I wanna make sure that I have enough. So if I'm too short off the ground, like I don't have enough rope to actually make a three to one uh, haul system. So the higher up you are, the easier it is for you to do this and rig it up. So that's the terminal end. So I'm gonna hook in, again, I can operate everything from the, uh, the sternal, and that's fine, so I'll hook right in. And this is gonna route up through that first change of direction. So right here. But before I do that, I need a, a progress capture. So I get myself another prussic on this line. And again, I wanna keep it short, so again, four to five wraps on this. Uh, just because this prussic is a little bit long. Okay, so I'll bring this prussic up and in. This is my progress capture for my haul system. I'll extend this down and I can start like taking and providing some hand tension just to kind of get things set initially. So right there, lock that off. Okay, so that's taut. I'm gonna come back down and I don't have any other I have one pulley, that's gonna be my last uh, change of direction before the haul strand. So 
really, if I only have one pulley in this, use it at the very closest to the input, which is me. Okay, so here we go. So that goes up, changes directions to here. It's gonna go back, right in through here. Put the rope in. Okay, so that's a three to one without any change of direction. And now I put it in the pulley, get my final change of direction in. Okay, I need to be able to uh, pull down, but it's hard for me because this is right here at my, my arm. So I'm gonna put another prusik on the pull strand and use my foot to step on it. Dress that up, slide it up, get my foot out of the way. Okay, as you can see, when I step down, watch your, so I'm gonna actually lift his harness up as I step down and I'm operating this three to one right there. In theory, it's a three to one. And do I have enough right now to pop him out is the question. Not quite, he's still kind of taut right there. So I'll set that and then do one more, one more throw. So get my prusik back up, slide that up. Pull him up and step down with my foot right there. He's off his, whatever he's hung up on, this just happens to be a chest descender, so that's out. So if you can see that, rotate in. So he's on the one point of contact, but I need to revisit that second point of contact that he's gonna be on. So that's my other sling. So going into the same spot here. And this is gonna come up, and I'm gonna piggyback off of my backup, which is gonna be right here. So I can use the carabiner or the the prusik itself in this case, and we're set there. I wanna make sure that I don't get hung up on my backup, so I'm gonna let that just a little bit loose. Okay, now I'm gonna transfer the load off of my three to one onto me, but before I do that, I can disconnect any anything else that my subject is hung up on. So we'll get rid of this. Get rid of this, get rid of this all gone. Okay. And now when I step up with my foot this time, I step up, I release that capture and let it ride. Let it ride. Get my foot out. Continue to let that ride all the way until it's completely slack. And now I can clean up all this. I don't need any of this anymore. So that's gone. The directional can go away. That one pulley I had. <laughs> okay, we can get rid of the three to one part. Get rid of that carabiner. Get rid of the terminal end. Get rid of the directional and that prusik. This is all gone. I don't need that. That goes away. All these lines go away. There we go. My anchor goes away. That's gone. So he's on two points into the system. I'm on two points into the system. I did all that with just carabiners and prusik and one pulley. Okay, it doesn't matter what he's caught up on. It doesn't matter. I didn't use any of his gear. I didn't cheat. So higher loads, higher friction. Uh, that's why I want some sort of adjustable uh, device. I need to tend my backup as I, get, as I go down on my, uh, my de uh, descender. So uh, I cleated it off. That's one release. Right now I'm no longer in auto lock mode, so I need to maintain control of that and get my brake strand out. There we go. Get these ropes out of the way. Okay, so now we're set to lower. So I control my brake hand and I tend my backup. Ultra minimalist rescuer based supported pickoff. When you don't have all the fancy gear, you can do it in the pens with just carabiners. 
Crustix. I mean, a pulley is nice. You might be able to do it even without the pulley. So there you have it. Cool. That was sweet.